Wazi and Amy are engaged and they plan to get married. And they are planning their wedding reception. They plan to invite 67 couples and 16 single persons as the only guest to the reception. Now the table below is an extract from the budget for the wedding reception. So table one, here we've got the extract. We've got reception costs, all those costs together give us 66,000. That is so expensive. And we've got other expenses as well. And we've got another subtotal here and the total is gonna be 125. So this 66 plus these dot dot dots would give us the 125. Use the table below to answer the following questions. 1.1.1, determine the total number of guests they plan to invite to their wedding reception. Well, it's going to be 67 couples, so a couple is 2, 67 times 2 plus 16. If you just plug all that good stuff into your calculator, remember, we always deal with the multiplication sign first. 67 times 2, then we add a 16, 150 is going to be our answer. 1.1.2, show how the catering cost was determined if the cost per person is 225 rands. So our catering cost is 225 rands per person. And we're going to multiply that by the 150 plus Uluwazi and Amy. Okay, they are not guests, the bride and groom. So it's 225 times 152. And this is how we get 34,200. 1.1.3, express the total reception cost as a percentage of the total budgeted amount. So the reception cost is going to be 66,450 over the total cost being 125,000. There's the reception cost amount, there's our total amount. So 66450 over 125000. And we want that as a percentage, so we're going to multiply it by 100. Always around to two decimal places and we get 53,16%. 1.1.4, calculate the cost of the flowers and decorations if it is 1,8% of the total budgeted amount. So the flowers and decor, it's 1,8% of the total budgeted amount. So we multiply it again by the 125,000 and we get 2,250. Remember this 1,8%, you can use the percentage on your calculator or alternatively you could write it as 0,018%. Okay, so in decimal form or in percentage. 1.1.5, Amy's father who lives in Ghana, anyone know the capital of Ghana? It's Accra, land of Asamoah Gyan, offers to contribute 30,000 Ghanaian sedi towards the reception costs. Determine the amount in rand that Ulwazi and Amy will have to contribute to the reception costs to meet the overall budgeted amount. Note, one rand is equal to 0,32253 Ghanaian Sedi. Okay, we've got a very interesting calculation here. So listen carefully, listen properly. If you know, you know. So this Ghanaian Sedi, GHC, 30,000, we are going to divide it by 0, 0,32253. Okay, because one rand is equal to 0, 0,32253. So we divide. It is less than. In other words, the rand is stronger. Sorry, that is my mistake. The rand is weaker. Sorry. So one rand is equal to 0, 0,32253 uh, GHC. In other words, one of ours is only 0, 0,3 of theirs. So 0, 0,3 of theirs, a little bit, not even one, is a whole one rand. So theirs is definitely stronger, which is why we divide. And uh, we need to round off um, to two decimal places because we are working with cents here. So that is a contribution of 93,014 rand and 60 cents. So the shortfall is going to be this 125,000 minus the 93,014,60. And that shortfall amount is 31,000. 985 rands 40 cents okay nice little question there sorry about my small small error silly silly me i always like to beat myself up over small mistakes but yeah i just just looked at it wrong for the first time so yeah these mistakes they happen to anyone okay thanks for watching hope this question makes sense bye